fuck you, Satan. Get out of here. <laughs> that would be nice. That would be nice. You'd be like kicking that cat. She would be kicking that cat out of his room. No, I, I'd bring the cat up on my lap and say, if I'm going, you're coming with me. Oh, my God. You probably <laughs> would, too. I would. Oh. I would. <laughs> well, you're de- Kay's definitely not a cat person, for sure. But, um, no. No, wow. I got way too many of them. I'm trying to get rid of some. I'm going to send them down to you. Oh, my gosh, I can't take any more. <laughs> <laughs> I, stopped trying, I stopped trying to rescue them, you know? What the Corker, hell is that? Is that, your radi- is that Corker? Yeah, that's radio? Right. No, that's not my one, no. Hey, hey. Hold on. No, that's Denny. Yeah, because I, 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 don't, I don't have anything on. It could be Denny. No. I can't call you off. Yeah, that might be Denny. No, it's not the guys on. Um, hold on a second. I'm just checking on I don't we're, have getting, turned on. we're getting mystical sounds coming through the uh, audio. Mm. It's kind of, after, what, what it's that a sound psychic like? cat. Like Christmas music, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was a cat. <laughs> it was a cat. It was after. Uh, he was coming no. in and saying, look, one of these guys are going to die. It's all good, though. It's all good. But uh, <laughs> coming up this month, I believe Danny and Tiff are having their Christmas special. They are. They are. <laughs> That's going to be fun. When, which, when is that, actually? I'm not 100%. I'll have to look at it again. I'm sure Denny will come on and tell us eventually. I'm sure but, he uh, Denny, Denny was kind of stupid, and, and he gave me the freedom of rewriting something so that it, mm. it, it could fit mm. our style. And uh, and, and uh, considering he gave me that freedom, I managed to write something. Oh, God. A mockery, I know. Of, uh, a mockery of something that, that would fit our style. And it was well, funny as hell. It's your style, for sure. And um, I almost I, I almost peed myself. It was so funny. I almost died. <laughs> it's very, very, very bad. Very it, bad. I, I, think, I, I think I made it a little bit raunchier, even to my standards. It really went over. It was to Twister standards, as a matter of fact. It was way <laughs> over the top. It's way over the top. Um, are we doing another news, news story, or are we going to start talking to Corker? Um, I think I think what we should probably do is give our sponsors a word in and get back, and yeah. then uh, we start pairing yeah. up Corker. I think we should. Sounds great. I think, I think that's a good idea because we got to get sponsors every time. They pay for it. I mean, yeah, they need it. Absolutely. And they're pretty cool sponsors. They're all right. They haven't bitched at me yet. <laughs> they haven't said, "Jay, will you stop saying that crap?" No. <laughs> it's all good. So. Uh, Hey, Denny, why don't you take us to a uh, commercial break, and uh, when we come back, we'll we'll start tearing into t- Corker. You got it, guys. All right. Excellent. Rolling Hills Asylum. Located in East Bethany, New York, just minutes between two major airports, Rolling Hills Asylum is a hotbed of paranormal activity. They have been featured on Travel Channel's Ghost Adventures, Paranormal Challenge, as well as Sci-Fi Channel's Ghost Hunters. Rolling Hills Asylum has been named the number two most haunted location in the United States by HauntedNorthAmerica.com. The property was established on January 1st, 1827, as the county poor farm. Throughout the years, it has operated as a poor farm, infirmary, orphanage, tuberculosis hospital, nursing home, and more. Past residents and inmates consist of widows, orphans, physically disabled, mentally unstable, murderers, and more. Over 1,700 bodies are buried in unmarked graves, and hundreds more deaths went undocumented. Rolling Hills Asylum is known for a plethora of phenomena, including disembodied voices, doors slamming, footsteps, sounds of furniture moving, full-body apparitions, shadow people, ghostly touches, and numerous Class A EVP. Rolling Hills Asylum proudly offers historical and flashlight tours, four- and eight-hour public ghost hunts, eight- and nine-hour private ghost hunts, and more by appointment or pre-booking only. For more information, please visit www.rollinghillsasylum.com. That's www.rollinghillsasylum.com. Or give them a call, 585-502-4066. That's 585-502-4066. 
4066 Rolling Hills Asylum. What are you doing this weekend? The historical Fort William Henry Conference Center and Resort is a proud sponsor of DTM Wicked Radio. If you're looking for a relaxing getaway, the historical Fort William Henry Resort and Conference Center is your destination. Come enjoy the beautiful mountains, the gorgeous lake, and everything Lake George has to offer in upstate New York, right off the Adirondack Mountains. For reservations, you can go to www.fortwilliamhenry.com or call one 800 Two three four zero two six seven. The Fort William Henry Resort and Conference Center is your destination for the perfect getaway. The Can Coaching Center is a proud sponsor of DTM Wicked Radio Network. What would it mean to you to have better health, more energy, more vitality, and an all-around better life? At the Caring Coaching Center, our mission is to be your partner in helping you reach your health, fitness, and lifestyle goals. We do this through a dynamic six-month program that helps our clients reach their goals and their full potential. And it all starts with a free, no-obligation, 50-minute health history consultation. Just visit us at the www.thecaringcoachingcenter.com to schedule your free consultation today. Or you can go to www.dtmwickedradio.com, click the sponsor page, scroll down to the Caring Coaching Center tab, click on the tab and open up to the website to start your free consultation today. It's all here on dtmwickedradio.com. The historical Fort William Henry Conference Center and Resort is a proud sponsor of DTM Wicked Radio. If you're looking for a relaxing getaway, the historical Fort William Henry Resort and Conference Center is your destination. Come enjoy the beautiful mountains, the gorgeous lake, and everything Lake George has to offer in upstate New York, right off the Adirondack Mountains. For reservations, you can go to www.fortwilliamhenry.com or call one 800 Two three four zero two six seven. The Fort William Henry Resort and Conference Center is your destination for the perfect getaway. Welcome back to Ghost Cat Radio. I am your host, the Paranormal Rebel Jason Stanton, and uh, you know, obviously, I still have Jody Smith in the house, the Paranormal Diva. And, still uh, here. Still here. Yeah, she's still here somewhere. <laughs> she's still there. She just got her Victoria's Secret package, so she's in the bathroom trying everything on. Yeah. And, and and she's describing what she looks like in the fucking mirror, and it's just pissing me off. That's all it's doing. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got to quit that shit, man. I'm telling you. That ain't, that ain't cool. That ain't cool. You can't give it to a man a bone and then say, and leave him hanging. That's all fucking Yeah, up. Facebook selfies. Facebook selfies. <laughs> you can, <laughs> but, you know. You know. It's all good. But, uh, yeah, we do have Corker Johnson in the house where he's going to talk about, you know, everything that he does with writing and what kind of things he has in the making. And we're going to learn everything about Corker one way or another. We will. I don't know all how right. anymore, but we're going to. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like that, Jay? It was, it was good. I thought so. <laughs> Jody likes having two guys on the show. I do. I love it so much. You know, it's my favorite you know, thing. Especially, she starts especially thinking about you know, double when, stuff, cookies and I shit. I do. You know. I know. I I can't <laughs> help it. I can't help it. You know how I am. It's all messed up. <laughs> it's all good. You're so bad, especially when you know two guys that are younger than me on the show at the same time. I mean. I just don't know what to do with. I just don't know what to do with that. You know. I, I'm, I'm all game for it. As long as there's no sword crossing, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> you are bad. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. So tell us, Corker, where are you from? I'm from Rush City, Minnesota. Minnesota. Oh, so you're freezing your ass oh, off yeah. too. Oh, we're talking below zero at night, and during the day it's been like a high in the teens. So nice. 
Oh, damn. That nice. is your you're out in Minnesota? That's colder than a witch's tit. Oh, yeah. I'm right in the middle of Minnesota. I've never been up to a witch. I've never felt a witch's tit, so I have no idea how cold it is. <laughs> I can't even imagine. I can't even it's imagine how crazy. cold that is out there. Yeah, and then when the windshield sometimes gets like 30, 40 below, and it's just, it's 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 pretty rough. Pretty rough on the car. And pretty rough I'll on bet. It. Yeah. Just all the other Danny, Danny, we have someone that's uh. You know, more fucked than we are. No. <laughs> I thought you guys had it the worst out there in New York. I really did. I mean, when I think cold, I think your area out there. It does get cold. I mean, yeah, we'll get to, you know, negative 20 and so forth and so on. But right now we've been, you know, pretty steady for the last two to three weeks in the, you know, mid-20s to mid-30s. Yeah. And then, you know, there's wind, obviously. So, you know, the wind chill, you know, after that would probably be in the teens, high teens. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so it is really but, uh, windy out there, yeah? But Corker, he's in a whole new genre of cold right now. He's all fucked up. That's one area I mean, of the country. Crazy. I've actually never I've never been out there, Corker. I've, I've been all over the country, you know, traveling for work, and that's actually one area. I've, I've never made it all the way out to, like, Minnesota, and um, it, I, I can't even imagine. It probably won't be worth your fuel in coming. <laughs> it's not that exciting of a place. It's pretty wow. much, um, you like lakes, if you like, you know, well, there's yeah, the country that, yeah, yeah, then it might be your thing, but it's uh, the winters are hell, that's for sure. Yeah. And then the yeah, summer, even when you have like, yeah, in the summer, like when you have like 70, that's all humid, and uh, it's yeah. a different type of place. Yeah. Wow. You ever think about packing up and saying, fuck this, I'm going south somewhere. I don't know where, but I'm going. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm staying in the south. I'm a southern girl, and... I don't want to be driving out there and all that snow and sleet and uh, you know I like the city too. I'm a you know I, I like to be I don't mind being in the country, but I need to be close. I need to be close to the city. I need to be where there's yeah. stuff to do and some good shopping. I tried that country yeah. life and I did not like it. Yeah, I'm in the boonies, about five miles outside of a town that's got about two thousand people, but most of them are in the prison. Because we have a local prison. <laughs> it's pretty wow. dead town. So wow. my biggest people are in Minneapolis and Paul is about an hour. So yeah. Interesting. I live I live in New York and a lot of people, you know, they, they think of New York, they automatically assume the whole fucking state's a city. But yeah. surprisingly, I live in a town that might have six hundred people in it. And I think wow. I, I, I think most of them are, are married to their cousins. I'm not one hundred percent, but I think. <laughs> I got like a gas station, a bar, and like four churches on my road. That's my main strip right there. That's it. That's, That's about our town. Our town is about that. It's got a Burger King though. A Burger King, a gas station, and bars. And I don't have that. If, if I want to get a hamburger, I got to travel a half hour. Oh my god! I'm so happy to be back in the city. And this is a little city, but wow, I just cannot do that. I don't know how you guys do it. I just moved out of a. Hickass town in Alabama where there were 1,900 people, and I was an hour and 15 minutes outside of Huntsville, and I was there for a year and a half, and I was about ready to flash my wrist. I could not take it. I couldn't take it. <laughs> I just hated it, hated every minute of it. I was so depressed. Well, the, the benefit is it's quiet. I mean, I can walk outside and, and, you know, stroll around my pool in the summertime completely naked as long as my kids aren't home, and, and you yep. know, just – Dive right in, and that's cool. I like that. Come on. I can do that on the top deck of the fucking cruise ship, and nobody cares. Well, I, I would care. At first, <laughs> you know. Actually, it'd probably end up on YouTube, I'm sure, if you did that. Probably would. <laughs> I have done that, that's... and not only that, and my grandfather saw me up there. I mean, come on. I have no I mean, My closest neighbor is probably like 100 feet from my house, maybe right. a little more. And, and they're like, you know, in their 90s and shit. And I could picture, you know, her... her <laughs> The, the, <laughs> the woman out there with binoculars saying, that's what that shit looks like? Holy crap. I haven't seen one of them in 50 years. I'm surprised they aren't doing that already. They, they probably are. Who the hell knows? They're grumpy bastards. That's all I know. So grumpy. They got, it, it's funny because they have like a line of trees between our property and their property, and it's their uh-huh. trees. And their right. branches are hanging over my fucking yard, and and mean. and they they die, they break, and I I go to cut them, 
you know, to try to get them away. 